guys, it's Adam here again. So today we're going to start working on the Tamiya Hornet. Uh, we just got wrapped up with the lunchbox. So when we start unboxing this, there are going to be some similarities. So this unboxing is going to be pretty quick and straightforward. So let's pop the top and see what we got. All right. So obviously buggy body versus, you know, ginormous van body. So I have to get some uh, black for this. We've got the wing. And the other major noticeable difference is obviously buggy chassis versus the truck chassis. Um, we have the driver figure, which we'll have to get him painted up. So we'll do multiple colors on him just to kind of make him pop. Got the Nerf bars, battery tray. Again, same electronic speed controller so you can run brushed or brushless. Obviously skinny fronts and wide spike tires. So traditional buggy setup. The two-piece wheels, actually the three-piece wheels. Now here's where some of the similarities of the two kits are. Same front suspension arms, uh, suspension mount, same servo saver. Um, kind of same uh, rear suspension mounts. A little bit different on this one. These are much smaller than the lunchbox, but fairly similar. So this one should go together fairly straightforward. Now that I've done one and exact same gearbox it looks. Uh, I don't see any differences in this. So the issues I had with the last gearbox build, these, this should go a whole lot quicker. Um, and then again, got the decal kit. Uh, these are not pre-cut like the lunchbox is. So we'll have to cut all these out by hand and get them on the body. Does include the window masks uh, for the body. Uh, that way you don't paint it solid and not be able to see your driver. And then of course, Assembly kit, or assembly instructions. So again, go through these, understand each step, especially if you haven't put one of these gearboxes together. This was a little fiddly when I did the last one. Now that I know what I'm doing, should go together a whole lot quicker. Um, but yeah, read through the assembly instructions, especially how to do the shocks and stuff if you've never put together oil field shocks. So just kind of read through this, glance through it, make sure you understand the steps. And when you're going through the steps, it's best to lay out the required hardware for that step. That way you're not constantly digging back through the pile of hardware to figure out what it is. And you'll see some of them are like bag BC, BA, and you'll be able to kind of figure out where these bags are by the bag labeling, which is in this box. This box is very similar. Obviously, big difference is front bumper. Uh, same motor, same gear, same oil. Um, obviously, parts bags are probably a bit different. Same uh, silver can motor. Uh, the biggest difference in here are the metal shock bodies, metal shock caps, shock oil. So obviously some differences between the kits, but fairly similar as far as the drivetrain goes. It's the same rear um, axles, same rear axle pin setup. Same looks like almost identical front carrier. Well, no, shorter front carrier uh, front hubs because of smaller wheels. But yeah, pretty much same same. So we're gonna do the same as we did last time. We're gonna do the time lapse of me getting it built and then I'll show you some finished pictures and then we'll take it out for a quick spin just see how it works so once all that's done I'll come back say goodbye tell you what I thought about the whole build and hope you enjoy it Alright, hey guys, we're back. So I want to give you a few little tips and tricks I learned along my way of building this. The build was actually pretty easy. I enjoyed the build, except for two things. Uh, one is those three-piece rear wheels. That center section to get into the tire, there's an outside and inside and a center section. 
and to get that center section into that tire, um, save yourself some hassle. Use some Dawn dishwashing soap, or I'd use grease uh, from the kit. Without it, I was able to strong arm one in there, uh, but the other ones, the other rear, I used a little bit of grease, it popped right in. Um, if you have a little kid putting this together, uh, please give them a hand. This this almost made me cry, so I know it's going to make a little kid cry trying to get that uh, wheel insert in there. The fronts went on actually really, really easy. The fronts were super easy to put together, um, super easy to bolt together, just getting these stars lined up perfectly. That's really the most difficult part about actually putting the wheels together. Um, besides this hateful, hateful rear insert. Um, otherwise, the only issue I had is if you have a modern RC car, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, modern RC servo mounts are a godsend when they're molded into the chassis or it has a servo tray that bolts into the chassis. These posts that mount to the servo then mount to the chassis and then you have the two suspension arm, the steering arms dangling out the bottom of the chassis while you're trying to do that. Uh, you need about seven hands and a extracurricular vocabulary to get that working correctly. But it all went together fine. Uh, one thing I do want to probably upgrade is these front shocks. Um, the rear shocks are actually, you know, well dampened. They work pretty well. Um, I may put the spring tensioners in there to stiffen up the rear end a little bit. But otherwise, I like the rear. Uh, the front are much like the ones on the lunchbox to where they are shafts that pivot or go through the suspension arms. And see, that's my problem. I've messed with them and messed with them, but, you know, they're just not working well. Um, the O-rings in here seem to be binding on the shaft, so hopefully once it wears in a little bit, um, it'll stop doing this to where it doesn't rebound all the way and I thought about stiffening up the shocks but in order to do that you have to insert another piece a bigger piece in here that actually has two o-rings and I'm afraid that it's just going to amplify this issue with the stiction of it anyway like I said I hopefully with some wearing in uh, they're definitely lubed up um, so hopefully with some wearing in that'll soften up otherwise it's been a really great kit uh, to put together the body uh, it was easy to cut out, and I actually have a kind of special paint job that you guys will see in a second. I still have to get the body uh, decaled, which is going to take some time cutting all those out. But we'll get the body decaled and come back and take a look at it as a whole. Took it out for a quick spin. 
Um, other than it being super cold out and the ground frozen solid, it did okay. A little bouncy in the rear. I think mostly because the shock wall is so thick from being so cold. And, of course, the ground being hard as concrete didn't help at all. But, all in all, super happy with the build. Uh, decals took quite a while. Uh, the side stripes are multi-piece decals, and they were kind of finicky to put on. But other than that, everything went together fine. Uh, I'm really, really digging the color on this body. It's hard to pick it up on the camera. But it's got that bass boat metal flake to it. Got the little driver guy up in there. Come on, where is he at? He's hard to see. Anyway, driver's painted, he's in there. Body finished. All in all, really fun little kit. Don't know, again, those tires. <laughs> if you got a little kid putting this together, um, please give him a hand. That's, that, that was a, uh, a nightmare. Other than that, kit went together fine. Um, looking forward to the next build. Looking forward to some warmer weather so I can get out and actually enjoy this guy some more. Uh, just so cold out right now. I'm afraid to break stuff and you know, it's just cold. I don't want to be out there All right guys. Well, thanks for watching. I know this is kind of a long video If you guys will take a second just to comment down in the below Just let me know how I'm doing uh, how are the videos coming along are they getting better anything you can say uh, Not too mean uh, be helpful. Just let me know how I'm doing Looking to improve everything as I go along. Obviously the cameras need to be upgraded Still on the old cell phones, but all in all, we're learning, we're getting better, and I'm having fun, and that's really all that matters. You guys be safe out there. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.